Hello, people. Welcome to the United Way. I hope you're doing well. I understand yesterday was one of those tough days for Manchester United. Yeah, I just said yesterday, if you haven't listened, you need to listen, not watch the video I, I, I posted yesterday. I think the reason we lost yesterday is because of our two central backs. Because, I mean, 65-year-old six, central backs. And uh, I think we need to look forward. Uh, yes, as you see on the... The thumbnail, it's uh, we'll be talking today about Jason Sancho, what he has just come out with. Tell, I would love to hear your views if you're a Manchester United fan, even if you're a football fan. So, uh, what happened was yesterday after the game, you know, we had all these questions for some of you watching, you were asking where is Sancho, correct? Correctly, right? Because you, you I mean, he's a player of Manchester United, he's not 30 years old <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so you were asking where is Sancho. So, the question was the manager obviously had this question, what happened with Sancho? Ten Hag came out and said that Sancho, well, in his opinion as a manager, Sancho hasn't trained really well. He didn't deserve to play this game. He didn't say Sancho was a bad player. He didn't say he wants Sancho to be sold. He didn't say anything negative. These are normal technical things manager says with players. These are motivational things manager says with players. This will take me back to a manager... Who, who was um, in Chelsea, by the way, Jose Moreno. Moreno said he believed that the British players are very spoiled. He said he loved the African players. When they come for their contract, they play with all their heart and soul. That's something, that was not his words directly, but he was trying to say that the African players, when they come and play for Premier League teams, they, I mean, whatever football team they play, they play is like their only chance. So they give the best. In the Premier League, if you give 90%, you, I mean, it's not enough. You have to have that drive. The mentality is have your contract, negotiate a fantastic contract. Then it's better to have a one total good season than having, you know, a flop every season, if you see what I mean. So I think, uh, I think that um, um, Jose Moreno was spot on. And um, this brings me back to the Manchester United problem that we have in the club. I'll tell you what Sancho uh, posted yeah, and uh, on t on Twitter and inst on inst Instagram um, uh, later. But this brings me back to the club. I think Manchester United's biggest problem is not even the players. It's true. The players are the main actors. They're the one on the pitch. Talking about players like Harry Maguire, Max Tomini and so on. I think Man Manchester United's main issue is the structure of the team. And you agree with me. You agree with me because you have gone through, if you have been watching my videos, you, you have gone through your read books. You have listened to Safarbizo Romano. You have listened to, to many uh, outlets uh, on YouTube. Uh, you have listened to red mainstream medias, which is very political, by the way. Mainstream media, the reason why you see fun channels like us, Malinki, trying to flourish, you know, we are not stars, is because we try to say something from here, the heart. We might be right, we might be wrong. But mainstream media, there's always an agenda. There's always an agenda. It's become so political, so politi politi politicized, yeah? <laughs> you know? Anyway, you, you get what I mean. So um, um, Jason, Mancho, uh, Jason Sancho, sorry, Jason Sancho has come out with a reply and... um. After yesterday, Ten Hag's um, uh, comment on Jesse Sancho, Sancho said uh, in the statement, uh, in the statement posted on Twitter by Sancho, this is from the Evening Standard. I just got this. Also, that um, please, Sancho wrote in his Twitter. I don't know. I know he's not writing it himself. He has people manages his, his, his image, his brand, like Jesse Sancho. The modern footballer is not like in those days when we were kids. Uh, it's not about you. You have uh, you have a budget of people who manage you. So uh, he said, please don't believe everything you read. I will not al uh, allow people saying things that in completely or that is that uh, is completely untrue. So he's saying he's speaking, he's coming directly against Ten Hag. I'll tell you what I think about this. He said, I have conducted myself in training very well this week. I believe there are other reasons for this matter that I I don't want um, to go into. I have made a, I've been made a scapegoat for a long time, which isn't fair. All I want to do is play football with a smile on my face and contribute to my team. If you want to play football with a smile on your face, then have a 50% cut and go back to this Dorisa Dortmund. Or have a 50% cut and go and play with a smile on your face with Nottingham Forest. This is what I'm trying to say about the British players. Look, guys, I want to tell you something. Manchester United, you might say, Ralph, you're not a Brit. Yes, I'm not a Brit. That's why you see British people will not subscribe to my channel because they want theirs. 
I understand. But I'm a Manchester United fan. And guess what? Manchester United is not even owned by a Brit and will not be owned by a Brit. I think that is even one of the reasons why Manchester United wasn't sold. Nobody told me that's my own logic. I think the, 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 the media side of uh, UK would love a Brit to own Manchester United. And the best deal was by, by, was, by, was, given by, was offered sorry, uh, by the Qatari, which are not British. So I um, have nothing against Brits, have nothing about races, you know, I, I zero. But what I'm trying to say is that it's all about protection. It's all about protecting your interests. You know, Manchester United is a world brand. The reason why Manchester United is the name of everything here is because of the way the club has been, the history of the club. This is something that most of you as fans don't even understand why you're supporting Manchester United. It's the history of the club that everybody wants to attach themselves to. Manchester United makes money even when we're not in Champions League. Manchester United is a club which, I, I, I say it every day, it's like a Nike, it's like an Arab person. You're angry that someone, it's like a German person, uh, American angry that an Arab is wearing a Nike brand. Manchester United is more a branding team than a local based team. This is a... Uh, Manchester United 1001. So coming back to the topic, I think the, the Glazers have destroyed Manchester United. I don't think, I know I can prove, I can make a video of an hour explaining to you how the Glazers have destroyed Manchester United. Because firstly, they didn't come to this team because, they, uh, because of the football, football of Manchester United, of history. They were lucky to buy the team owned by, I mean, managed by a, a, a legendary manager. By the way, you can, I mean, Say Alex uh, Ferguson, you see his poster behind there. Me, <laughs> yeah. So I just think Manchester United uh, are in a very tough situation as a club. I said after the game yesterday with Arsenal, with Arsenal that we, it, I mean, a good season for us will be fourth. Uh, more than good, uh, on average season will be fifth, and Champions League and the Glazers will be fine. So we will be we our, our ambition now, as of now, will be maybe fourth or fifth because it's a Champions League position. So tell me what you think below about well, what Jason Sancho just said. He continued by saying that I respect all decisions. He said I respect all decisions uh, that are made by the coaching staff. I play with uh, fan, uh, fantastic uh, players and grateful to do so much which I know every week is a challenge. I will continue to fight for the badge no matter what. So, why is he coming, that, coming out with this, with such information when the season is over? You might say, Ralph, he's trying to, um, he's trying to uh, support uh, himself. He, I mean, he needs to support himself, which is normal. But we are talking about Manchester United. It's, this is called a revolt. It is a revolt in football, and we cannot take this lightly. Players have no right. In say Alex Ferguson sometime, he will play for the second team. If I would just say this now as a Manchester United fan, most of you understand and you know, you watch my video. No, I'm not, I'm not 30s. I'm an old, well, I'm not an old man, but you know, uh, I'm not a kid. But what I want to tell you guys is that United, the downfall of United, the downfall of United will be when United start retaining player power. This is what uh, our previous manager, Ralph Ragnick, said. He made it clear that their team, we need a good, he has diagnosed the team, we need deep in uh, operations, we need some serious operations. I think if Jason Sancho really wants to play with a smile on his face and have no control by no one and trying to be going on internet, by the way, I want to tell you this before I continue, Sancho has to be, has to be a fine. He earns 300, over 300k a week and he's writing, he's destroying the club for people who are poor fans who are in Africa. In Africa, you have Millions of millions of millions of millions of fans who come every day, they walk from kilometers to watch Manchester United. When United win, they feel very happy. That I mean that that this is that, that this is what is really uh disappointing, right? Because I'm giving Africa as an, an as an example because you know we do have two African players playing for Manchester United and we have a massive fan base in Manchester United whole in the African continent. Yeah. And, uh, you know, in Africa, people are not very privileged. They don't earn 300,000 K a week. Yeah, even if they do deserve or they could earn. So um, my point, if you see where I'm coming from, is I, I have no pity for, for Jason Sancho. Football is on the pitch. If you don't like a club, ask to leave, got your salary, 
as I mean, if you, a good example why I have no pity for Jen Sancho, just look at what is happening with Harry Maguire. Harry Maguire is staying at Manchester United just because of the money, not because he deserved to play. So uh, it's a bit frustrating, guys. I would love to hear your opinion. Tell me, please, what you think about this Jen Sancho thing. Should he be put on the market? Should he be? Should he be? Firstly, should he be deducted? Uh, uh, um, I mean, should be uh, should be should have a financial penalty? Kept on the bench, sent to the second, to the third team. Should generally should he have a serious disciplinary decision, or should we have a serious disciplinary decision on Jason Sancho? Drop your comment below. I want to hear from you guys. Make sure you follow us on our Facebooks and also on Instagram. You can see uh, this is our Instagram. Yeah, you just go to the QR code. Yeah, QR code. Yeah, you can see our QR code. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I got it. I got it this time. I got it. So our uh, QR code, you go to our QR code and uh, you go to an Instagram, uh, Telegram, small community. We are building it up. But guys, I love you guys also to please click the like on the, bot on the video. Subscribe to the channel. It's there. It's free. Subscription is yours. Anyway, guys, we'll be doing our preview, giving you latest inf information about Manchester United. So stay tuned. And uh, yeah, talk to you soon, guys.